Synopsis of the Books of the Bible Major Prophets, Isaiah By J. N. Darby All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 and 17 Synopsis of the Books of the Bible By John Nelson Darby Isaiah, Chapter 24 Overthrow of the powers of wickedness in the heavenlies and on the earth Isaiah 24 sets before us the overturning of everything in the earth. The land of Israel is first in view. But there all the elements of all the systems of this world will be gathered together and judged. We have already remarked that this extends to the judicial overthrow of the power of wickedness in the heavenlies, as well as of the kings of the earth upon the earth, the succeeding chapters show us with what intent. Without it, the evil would not be set aside and put a stop to. Hence when Christ rides into Jerusalem in Luke it is said, Peace in heaven. For till the power of evil is set aside thus, any blessing established on the earth is soon corrupted and fades. Before examining them, let us retrace the objects of the judgments we have spoken of, let us retrace them in their moral order. We have Babylon, the power of organized corruption, where the people of God are captive, the public open enemy of God and his people, the Assyrian, the inward enemy, the Philistine, then Moab, the pride of man. Damascus is that which has been the enemy of God's people but allied with the apostate part of that people against the faithful part. From all these the people are delivered. Afterwards we find, under judgment, Egypt, or the world in its state of nature, the wisdom of which is lost in confusion, Babylon, now desert in the midst of the nations, Duma, the liberty, the independence, of man, Jerusalem, the professing people, Tyre, the glory of the world, and, finally, all that is on the earth, and, to sum up all power, spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places, and the kings of the earth upon the earth.